So today I like to talk about mounting a SSD drive in a budget build in this case. Uh, where to mount these in the case? Uh, sometimes that's kind of a challenge where these where you can put these things if the case really isn't that, you know, if it's not a high-end case, that may not, it may still be using old design styles that don't include a specific spot to mount these. Now there's, you can be creative. Uh, you can actually, I've in the past, I've actually just slid them in somewhere and let them sit there especially if the machine's not going to be getting moved around or anything, it really doesn't matter. And since they don't have any moving parts, you can, I think you can get away with that without any big issue. And I've done it for years and uh, I don't necessarily like doing it, but it is an option that, you know, you could even Velcro it in. I've done that a couple times, but it's nicer to actually screw it in someplace just for a little bit more professional, especially if you're doing it for somebody else. So you can do different things. Like there's some, in this case, this is a Rosewell budget case. And you can see some vent holes where the hard drives would be in this area. And you could you could put a screw through there and mount that. Obviously, I'm hitting the fan over on the other side. But you could you know clean that up and, and screw that in somewhere through those holes to, just to hold it in place. But you can see it's kind of sticking. It would be sticking out kind of. I don't, wouldn't want to be putting that kind of pressure or stress from the cables and everything on that drive. So what I discovered on my last build was... I didn't want to do this again because this one, the one was going to be going to church and I was doing another one for a granddaughter. Uh, so I didn't really know what, how those were going to be used over time. So I wanted to do a permanent mount. And I kept looking and I played around with this stuff up here and it's like, okay, it's a shame they have these there's little lips on the back where the hard drives are. Let's see if we can get that lit up. Where the hard drives would go, or <laughs> where the traditional hard drives would go. Uh, so you can't just mount that flat inside there somehow like that that just wouldn't work because you're going to be hitting those little these little flaps i guess you could knock those down or use some pliers and, and make them flush that would work too but point is here they've actually included because i was looking for somewhere else to mount this and i discovered there's actually four holes at the bottom of this case and there may be on some other cases as well where that was the fix short-term fix as far as mounting solid state drives or even a little uh, laptop drive as well so in this case, it's a real simple matter. I've already got the power connected, but uh, just to make sure you've got enough slack on your cable, okay, to be able to mount that down there. Uh, and then we'll mount the, we'll put the data cable in there in just a minute. But basically that's it. So you're just gonna line up your screws. And I'm not sure if you can see this. Sometimes the screws are all these different sizes. I'm gonna see if you can see, this is the one with the shoulder on it. So when they give you these cases, they'll, they'll put like three, four, five different types of screws with different thread patterns and stuff. But this one is the, the proper thread on it. It's going to be, the, it's like a screw and it's got like a little shoulder on it. It's like it's got a washer, but that's just the build, the way it's uh, shaped that way. But those work, do fit on these, on these drives, whether it's a solid state or whatever. So if you weren't worried about camera angles and stuff, <laughs> this would go a lot quicker, but I'm going to... Okay, we'll go back and just snug them in. So when you're mounting anything like this, it's always wise to leave a little bit of slack on your screws, especially on this machined items. Uh, and then when you got everything in there pretty much, then you can go ahead and seat everything you know, to its final torque and all that. Okay, so now, as you can see, we've got our drive and it's in there. So it's not going anywhere, so this is good. So. I guess the other addition to this might be good is that you'd have some heat sink going on here if this thing does get warm. You've got the whole chassis that it's it can cool off a little bit there. I, I don't know that these really get all that warm or not, but but I'll just say it does work. Let's call it that way. So all I got to do is put the data cable on there and call it a day. So anyway, so if you're having a problem trying to figure out where to put your solid state drive, at least on this particular Rosewell case, there were the four holes already in there. Uh, and like I said, on these old design cases, they're cheap because they're you know they haven't updated the design in you know 20 years or whatever so uh get what you pay for in this case it was 26 dollars, and i think it was definitely worth it so anyway so mount your hard drive down there and you'll be fine our ssd drive okay if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below if you like this video maybe you learned something give me a thumbs up if you really liked it please subscribe and i'd like to thank you very much for watching and just as one more comment i am leaving a link to a spot where you can do a one-time contributions uh, none of my videos are monetized or 
I don't do any affiliate links or anything. So the nickel or dime or 50 cents that you care to send to me goes toward my the lighting and the cameras and stuff like that that I use. Uh, I do this for fun, not for profit, but I would like to pay off some of my equipment, at least to justify the cost to my wife. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.